Good morning, everybody. Today is January 10th, 2020. Happy New Year. And I had a long vacation, and because of COVID, we were not uh, doing live demonstration last uh, couple of weeks. But uh, my fellow Debbie Cassidy and myself uh, are working together, so we decided to continue to do the uh, live demonstration. So today we're going to continue the lower limb um, muscles and possibly nerves. So let's see what we can do today. So if you have any questions, bring the questions on the live uh, chat. I don't know it's working, but or text me. Okay, now Debbie, uh, she is almost naked. <laughs> So you can tell me what I have to do. Okay, so we're gonna do the lower leg, anterior, lower leg, anterior, posterior, medial. What's that? We're gonna be too cold. I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. So last time we did the proximal, right? So yeah, so we, we did proximal. Finish. So we were gonna do the anterior and then okay compartment, so medial. Then now uh, I'm gonna show. To you and then you can do on my legs since I don't need to be so naked. <gasps> I did it took a shower. <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> okay. So this is the uh, left side. I'm gonna put the left side in the left side of the patient. This is the right side, right? So mm -hmm. left side of the patient. So whenever I talk to you guys. Always we have to have our home base to follow through well without the problems. Can you see on the mm -hmm. uh, that I was having trouble pulling off. Oh let me see. But I think it's working right guys, tell me the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can practice what I would. Um so home base is our tibia. Yeah, continue. Here. And then as we move laterally, you can see the fibula will move down and over a little bit right here with the bone shadows. And so in the anterior compartment closest to the tibia will be our tibialis anterior, which is here. And then as we move laterally, extensor digitorum longus. And then this high up, because we're just below the tibial tubercle and laterally, um, that's our fibularis longus. And then in between. I think we or the Okay. All right, it's working. Uh -huh. um, in between is our tibialis posterior. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this is very proximal, right? So you don't see interosseous membrane. And on your left side of the screen where the arrow is, that's the tibia. And okay. then uh, first muscle, anterior tibialis. Mm -hmm. You can see extensor digital longus. And they already peroneal muscles. So proximal part, you can see the peroneal muscles. Okay, let her move her anterior tibia. Just bring up and inward. Relax. Up and inward. Okay. Then I'm going to bring it down, and she's going to show post the extended digital longus. Okay, you can see in the middle. Oh, that's beautiful. Relax. Bring it up one more time. But at this point, we don't have extensor halosis longus yet. Uh, try to bring them up a little bit, EHL, nothing is moving, right? Okay, then peroneal muscle, push outwards. So, oh my God, she has the most beautiful peroneal <laughs> longus. Okay, now let's go down. This is almost like one-tenth or one-eleventh or something uh, from the knee to the ankle. So I'm gonna bring it down, as you see, beautiful muscle, she's very younger. <laughs> you can see the bigger getting bigger, the muscles are getting bigger, it, uh, anterior tibia it is. Oh my god, you have a really beautiful muscle. Thank you. Oh. And then you can see anterior tibia artery. The tibia artery, look at the tibia artery, bring the box in the artery area. You know, you can see there is a deep um, carotid nerve coming over there, right? See, the nerve is coming in now. Yeah. Over there, a white one. Yep. So now you see anterior tibialis, extended the term longus, and peroneus longus. 
and then as we go down until the tibial artery moves to the middle, see? It's moving, moving, moving. Now it's in the kind of a one quarter lower uh, over there, right? We have to be in the next to the bone, fibular, but now it's moving, 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 just like that. So the reason why we have to know the artery because when you approach the posterior tibialis from the anterior side, you may cause the compartment syndrome by puncturing the anterior tibial artery, right? So you have to be always careful with that. And then by the time you come down to one quarter, you can see some different fascia line over there in between extensor hallucis longus and, uh, I'm sorry, extensor digitum longus and anterior tibial is what I'm trying to say. You see a little difference here. Two different fascia lines, this and this. And then there must be EHL in between. So relax, relax. And then I'm move your only EHL. Push against me and relax. Push against me, relax. So you can see a little lower part, I'm going to move. You can see a little bit is moving, right? EHL. And then big toes, uh, the rest of the toes. Relax. And then I'm going to move her uh, great toes. I don't know you guys. Oh, oh sorry. We, we don't show our, her leg at all. <laughs> we apologize. There's no producer today. <laughs> Only performers. OK. So as we go there, so many, many times when I do uh, chemo neurolysis or chemo denovation with the botulinum toxin, uh, I have to use uh, ultrasound and uh, nerve stimulator for EHL because it, it's not very clear unless you put the needle and they move the, oh, so see, you can see I'm moving her EHL. You can see, so you can do those things if you don't have e-steam. You may ask patients to move with, uh, EHL or you can move EHL, then the needle is gonna move, right? That's the way we're gonna do injection. Okay, so now you know where is the, uh, kind of EHL in between anterior tibialis and EDL, but more below the EDL is EHL. And then, but there's no clear facial line. Look at this, yeah. I'm trying, I'm toggling my probe, but you cannot see really great uh, yeah. facial line between the EDL and EHL. And then this is the all uh, fibular muscles, and then Already, this is the uh, parents longus, but parents breath is already popping out. See, different facial mm -hmm. line. Closer to the yeah, see, almost here, um, in the middle, parents longus very small. This is smaller. So now I'm in the about one third. I'm going to look at the peroneal muscles, see if you look at it. Peroneal the longus is almost gone, only brevis left. Brevis. Okay, I'm going to come back. The longus is popping out now. This is almost longus only. So the brevis is a kind of a comes up. You can see that the, there is super, superficial perineal or fibular nerve is moving in the arrow area. You can see the white the nerve is moving mm -hmm. up because it's coming from the posterior part. Yeah. Here, this is here. Yeah. yeah so the, that's the one. Yeah. See. Mm -hmm. Moving. It's going to the yeah. superficial area. Yeah. Superf now it's in the skin, under the skin. Yeah. Yep. You saw very clearly the arrow area. That's the superficial perineal nerve, but uh, the superficial branch, sensing branches. See over there. Mm -hmm. Continuous and you can follow. So if you want to learn the nerve, just like a scroll up and down, follow the nerve o over there. Okay, then we put the arrow over there. I'm going to move. It's moving up, 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 up. Now it's going to the subcutaneous area, which is the sensory branch. 
Oh, well, it's important to have pattern and they're very good. Okay, so now one more thing from here. As we talk about that, there's a square shape, right? One is the left side of the bone shadow is the tibia. Right side of the bone shadow is the fibula. And there's interosseous membrane. The interosseous membrane is over there. So above the anterior tibia is below the posterior tibia is. So now Debbie is going to show me plantar flexion and inversion. See? Relax. Plantar flexion and inversion. That's it, right? So you can approach it from here, but remember the motor point of a posterior tibialis is in the middle one third, according to Kadeva study. So I'm gonna move my. It really makes sense when you guys don't know where is the motor point. Muscle bulk area, the particular muscle. Burke, you are looking for the, let's say, anterior tibialis. You don't know where is the motor point. Then you go to the motor, uh, muscle bulk area. We are assuming that that area has most of a motor point or motor end plate zone. So if I bring it down, look at this posterior tibialis size. Small, right here. Can you make it deeper? Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going to change the depth. Okay, look at this. Her posterior tibialis is small. But as I go down, it's getting bigger, right? The square is getting bigger. So this, I'm in the one third area, it's the bigger, biggest area. So motor point is here. So since uh, here, very hard to see the muscle, the nerve. Sometimes we see nerve very well. This is the posterior compart. The, in the middle, the white must be the nerve to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I cannot chase down well. Looks like almost, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so if you don't know, you go to the uh, mid one third. You're going to put the needle like this from here and they avoid the uh, anterior tibia artery. So I rather move my needle more left side of the screen here and then you can just straight down by avoiding the ant uh, artery and then drop the medication in the square part. So that's the anterior approach. But since I'm doing it, I'm going to do medial approach. So, so let's just do to the together. I'm going to put the tibia on the left side of the screen so you don't need to confuse. So I'm going from the very proximal part and there's a popular too so you can see and then on the left side the white part is more on the right side uh, that's the so you see look at me i'm uh, very hesitant to say anything right it can be solar it can be gastro so i'm gonna more to the posterior part that's gastro right yeah. so because if you put in the middle look at this do you see it yeah here i was hesitant to say is this gastro and uh, so those, but so let's start a little lower part, right? But look at the, my probe, it's very proximal part. So, but look at the screen. As I scroll, scan down, there's another one is popping out immediately. That's the so levels. So, if you put your probe about one, six from the knee to the ankle, you first must is so levels. But if you immediately below the knee, Oh, first muscle is popliteus, and the next to popliteus is gastro. So how do you know? Move your skin to posteriorly. Right then, soleus is popping out now. See, soleus wasn't there, but as I scan down, soleus is popping out. And if I move this one more to the tibial side, now first muscle become teeny tiny popliteus, and then uh, underneath of the arrow, the yellow arrow on the top, right? Underneath that, that's the soleus. And then as I move my um, probe to the posterior part, is gastrox. So, all right, then I'm gonna go from here. So let's uh, scan down, I'm pressing too much. It must be. The soleus, gastro, 
over there, right? And then you can say to the tibia nerve very well. What is tibia nerve? Very good. So that's tibia nerve. So there must be popliteal artery, right? Already, this popliteal artery is split in two. Mm -hmm. Oops. So yeah, let's move the box. Fibular and, and tibia. tibia. So you look at the, these two arteries, they're going to be one. Here, one, right? Only one. Not yet one. And then if, as I move, it's splitting into two. The posterior tibia or and fibular artery. So the tibia nerve is next to two fibular artery. Am I telling a lie? I don't think so. Oh, it looks like, unless one of these two is fibular, but. Looks like, who's this? So, so tibial nerve should be lateral to, to the, the posterior tibial artery. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, am yeah. I telling a lie? Because this one is the Pusher to be artery has to be, and then this one has to be fibula. Yeah, and yeah. then the nerves here. But it's not popping out the collar. But they look like they're going to. Yeah, one, that's why so it's maybe you are abnormal. Oh, I'm sure. I am. <laughs> but Debbie's got double check mine, so. But that's weird, right? Yeah. Because it's very much. Uh, yeah, it is weird. Because I didn't want to tell her a lie because. We're she, honest. It's between the pusher tibia artery and fibular artery. Yeah. That's the tibial nerve sitting there. So why don't we, oh, why don't we use a hockey stick and then we can okay. better. Since you and I are enjoying this. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Change the probe. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a drawback, right? We have yeah. to go with it. But let's see. So here, this is one. Is that Pavlidis and then yeah. Pavlidis, Castro? So do I try here. to see here? It's like now, it's, oh, it's two. Yeah. Where's my tibia? Oh, the tibia nerve, that one. Oops, I mean, yeah. yeah. That must be vein then. Yeah. Oh, that's vein. Since yeah. the, I'm compressing, it's gone. So we were not wrong. So that's the. She's not abnormal. She's normal. <laughs> so posterior and fibular artery. And then, yeah. Tibial. See right. that split it. And See? that one. Now it's, it's going to be one. Okay. See here, one here. Yeah. So, guys, well, what we are looking for is. We know the popliteal artery is going to split into two artery. Uh, as we scan down from the knee, so yeah, let's change it again and see. Here. There it is. Now it's splitting. Now you can see three vessels, right? So Debbie is going to uh, show the cost. So That's the tibia artery, right here. and the posterior tibia artery. This is the nerve. Nerve and this fibular artery, but above, next to, to posterior tibia artery is the vein. It's collapsing. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then this one. Okay, so, too. yeah, so that's why when you do media approach, media approach here, now let's talk about the muscles, because we are the muscle people. So, Debbie, show me where's the gastrox from here. Okay, where's tibia? Let's go our this home the, base. So this is tibia with the bone shadow, more uh -huh. medial. This is our fibula, more lateral, also with the bone Excellent. shadow. And then gastroc is the most superficial. Soleus is right here. And then when we talk about the tibia, we think about our flexor digitorum longus being right above or posterior, I guess, to the tibia. And then our FHL is going to be above the fibula, right here. And then posterior tibialis should be in here. So here we didn't talk about the shape of the because the important one for us to recognize while we are scanning muscles 
the pattern of muscles, right? So here you see popliteals, two different patterns, right? That one looks different with the next one, which is the gastrox, right? As I go down, the popliteals is uh, disappearing, but soleus, new muscle coming out, soleus and gastrox, their pattern looks different too, and there is a fascia plane. Yeah. Plane is there, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very clear. But when you look at the tibia next to each other, there's some triangle shape. Uh, actually, triangle, these holdings. This triangle, because I'm confusing now. So then if, if you are confusing, because I'm looking for the triangle, looks like the baby triangle is here, the large triangle is here. Mostly, these uh, two arteries splitting in posterior tibia. Mm -hmm. So to me, I think these are uh, these two little and large triangle are the flexor digitorum longus. And then here, fascia line. To me, this is the fascia line for the posterior tibia. It's here, and this between the bone shadow. This bone, this one, this is, we call the chair muscles. Looks like a chair. So this one is the posterior tibialis, but we can be wrong, so I'm going to do longitudinally. Look at, let's say, here is the bone. I'm moving longitudinally. So I, I think I was wrong, right? Looks like this whole thing, but let's see. Um, what are, uh, so now, toes, we're going to move toes. So that's toes, right? Oh yeah, without, let me see if I can keep that. Oh, that's okay, the only this one. Hold, uh, hold my, good, see? Two things are moving, right? Yeah. These two things are moving, and then posterior tibia is, and the plantar flexion inverted. So two, two things are moving. Mm -hmm. So, this is the first time I'm really confusing this too much. So looks, if I put this on like this, there are three muscles. One is uh, soleus, one is FDL, one is positive. So this uh, one is positive and is facial line. This is the soleus facial line. These two things for me is the flexor distum longus. And then let's say like this. Because flexor distum longus is also big muscles. So I'm gonna, so there's RTD in between. See the point? This is clearly triangle and yeah. chair right here. Triangle, chair. Mm. So then let's go with the triangle, triangle. So they are all pusher tibias then? Yeah. Right? Because look at this. Everything below this. Oh, this, this, is this is now one muscle. That could be central tendon. That could be. Mm -hmm. Why here. Right? Right here. This could be the yeah. central tendon. Yeah. That could be. So if I turn, looks like the central tendon. Yeah. See? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. That's why I think it's interesting for us to do uh, vertical and uh, horizontal way. We yeah. have to take a look. Central tendon looks bigger than in the video, in this line. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Here, so if I go like this, we are in the middle, we should see. Now it's popping out new muscle is the fibular, flexor, uh, halosis longus. Here, we have to see the flex. In, see, look at this, you can see. This is the best muscle, right? Yeah. So here, if you, this one is, so there is positive has the central tendon mm -hmm. here. So this triangle, this part is the, guys, look at this, this is the uh, tibia. This is the fibular, right? Soleus. 
here you can see another triangle muscle that is the flexor digitorum longus and then um, this is the this is not the nerve this is central tendon this is the artery this is the tibial nerve this is the fibular artery this is the flexor hallucis longus yeah then my question is what is this muscle this is the flexor hallucis longus but because always covering the flexor hallucis longus what the muscle is. I don't know if I have abnormal scarring from all the fluid from my ACL. I have so no. much Can you no what's relax. It's different that's why very cool. What is this muscle? Because we never approached it like this. Mm -hmm. we look all the way. But we used to have the video for that. Do you have another front? I wonder what that is. Oh, this is good. Yeah. So here we go like this. But this much. This lateral gastro. Yeah. Mm. I think so. It's Under this lateral gastro. Lateral gastro. So the oh that's soleus. Right here. Yeah, that's soleus. Oh right, why well, couldn't think about it? That's soleus. Very proximal one is soleus. Underneath a small one. Oh. Sorry. No, it's okay. That one, where the airway is, is the flexor hallucis uh, longus, above is the solus. Mm -hmm. And the next is posterior tip. As we go here, that's the flexor distal longus. The that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, but children are so easy, yeah. but adults is so... Yeah, it's, there's a lot more circumference. Why? What time is it? Okay, we're going to switch the... Uh, I can just do it on myself. Team, you sure? Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay. So starting basically at the level of the tibial tuberosity. There's the tibia. Laterally is our fibula. First muscle is our tibialis anterior. As we go laterally, you can start to see a fascial line, the extensor digitorum longus. And if I extend my toes, you can see it's starting to move. And then above the fibula, let me turn down again a little bit, is our um, fibularis longus. And then at this level, deep to the interosseous membrane between the fibula and the tibia, we can see the posterior tibialis. As we scroll down, we would expect our tibialis anterior to start to get bigger. 
of the other muscles increase in size as well. And then we can start to see really clearly the vessels. So we can see the deep perineal nerve alongside the anterior tibial artery there. And then as we go a little bit more laterally, we can start to see our superficial fibular nerve. Tracking superficially up toward the skin. distal one third from the knee, the super, superficial fibular nerve is in between the EDL and peris longus, right? And then after then it goes to the subcutaneous, okay. which you, sh you showed already. Yeah. All right. So that's basically it for the anterior. This is part of the more common That was really tricky. So starting very proximally, to the left of the screen is going to be the tibia. And so this is where we were trying to figure out if we had gastroc or soleus. So as we scroll down, so here, yeah, I, I like it all. Okay, let's go here. So papilletus, mm -hmm. gastrox, now the soleus is ready to come out, mm -hmm. right? Soleus coming out. Triangle is coming out here, okay. FDL. Triangle, FDL, gastrox, soleus, mm -hmm. and the papilletus is almost gone. And then triangle become more clearer. And tibia nerve is here. And this is the flexor digital longus. These are. So if you, <coughs> let's see. Uh, where is the fibula? Oh, this is very far. So we're going to increase it up. Yeah. Oh, there it is, actually. Um, yeah, there is the fibula. There is the fibula. So tibia, fibula, in between posterior tip. So our agony was, uh, is this the only FDL? Or these all things are FDL? I think this is the only FDL. So let's uh, longitudinally, you see. It looks like you're right from there. But, Right? Because the yeah. tibia is so big. Yeah. Wow. Look at this is central tendon. Yeah, I think it's so push against me. Relax. Oh, it's oh, down. down. <laughs> yeah. Relax and then push it, push against me and relax. Let, let go. Push. Yeah. That look all pushed. Yeah. But if I move uh, towards one by one. One. You, you see movement. Yeah, FDL. Still the same. Yep. Still the same. Still the same. Yeah. What oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, a massive weird. Yeah. Pizza. So she has more posterior, bigger posterior tiberis than other people to me. Because I, other patient, I was not very confused. But your case is a uh, FDL is uh, I wonder if it's the same on the other side. Oh, that, oh, well, yeah. Interesting. If we look at like this. So the... Uh, posterior tibialis vein is the on the borderline of the FDL and posterior tibialis. Yeah, that's I'm close. Mm -hmm. There's anterior. So I think when you see posterior tibialis on artery and vein, that is the borderline between the posterior tibialis and flexor digital longus. You know the reason why I'm saying this one because uh, even though I do a lot of injections many times, I 
sometimes I have to think, is this really positive or FDA? Then I start to use my nervous stimulator to double check. But if you know the um, structures very well, may have less confidence. So let's say clearly, oh, instead of saying triangle, okay, triangle is there, but uh, the corner of the triangle is the vein and artery. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you see the uh, posterior, the tibia nerve, you're in the already posterior tibia. Yeah, I think that's right. And that's the way we should remember. Okay. See, now it's more clearly when I compress down. Yeah. If I don't compre compress, you have three vessels. Mm -hmm. We re remember, right? It's not two because of the vein is there. And then those two artery and vein is in, on the border of the two muscles. Yeah. And then and in between two, two bones, Oh, now it's much clearer. Yeah. Once we say so, the best muscle, best of, when uh, you guys learn best of, mostly we say, oh, when we approach from the posterior part, but when you approach the medial part, you can still see the best of. The reason why I'm a little tilted the best of, right? Yeah. Because this is the tibia, this is the fibula, these are best of. But if I move posteriorly, it looks more best of yeah. now, right? Look at this. I'm, I moved my probe from the medial to posteriorly. Yeah. It looks more best of shape. Now you guys have a hard time to see. So where's the tibia? Debbie? Tibia is here. Then, uh, tibia. Where's the fibula? Here. Okay. Where's the best of muscles? Here. Right. So the are all the vessels are kind of border over the posterior tibia. Yeah. Right? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. one nerve. So compressible, not compressible, not compressible, compressible. So here you because it's very uh good I think I would say ultrasound because even though it's very deep structure, you can see everything. So this is a solos. Right? Leftover gastro here. So those. This is the flex digitum longus. This is the posterior tibialis. These are flex hallucis longus. Okay? So we would, if we were injecting my posterior tibialis, we would want to go out of plane here, right? The posterior, yeah, you can be in plane, out of plane if you can. You, if you have long needles. See, look at my fingers. I'm going to go like this approach that posterior tibialis, yeah. right? I can even hit the flex digitum longus a little bit, mm -hmm. go further down, I can do posterior tibialis. But you have to have a long needle. Yeah. But the little children, you can have five centimeters. So there are three, at least four different needle lengths, right? 25 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 70 millimeters. So if you have a very muscular adult, you would rather have longest needle. Gauge wise, it's the same or similar, 26 gauge. So the nerve, nerve looking disorder things are central tendon. Mm -hmm. We identify that by moving our probe, right? Yeah. Like this. That's really cool. Yeah, see? Central tendon. There was a, a part of the posterior tibia, yes, central tendon. See, it's coming like this. But look at, let's find out the nerve, posterior tibial nerve. I'm going to longitudinally move this one. See, you can see nerve track. That's the posterior tibial nerve. So if you practice at home or by yourself, you can do longitudinally, vertically, whatever, track down very well. So now you clearly get that was not tendon, that was nerve. So here I'm moving, look at this, my probe, where I'm going. I'm going to the middle of the knee joint. So that's the tibial nerve, but her, yeah, tibial nerve from, you see, I'm in the exact middle. And, and if I go yeah. further, yeah, popliteal artery, if I go further, it's going to be in between, in the uh, pantry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See it coming down like this. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. So it, even though we review again and again, 
uh, very few, but whenever you scan your body, I think we found a new way to look for those muscles. Yeah. Even though we know, but still we don't know. Yeah. <sighs> you learn something new every yeah, time. Yeah, every time. So um, I think uh, you would. Wait, do you want to do the pattern your muscles? Yeah, that's the last thing. Yeah. Alright, so just like in EMG, we think about one third and two thirds the distance between the femoral, or sorry, the fibular head and the lateral malleolus, with um, the longest being, motor point being at the one third mark and the brevis being at the two third mark. Maybe you want to start from the uh, common pterygian nerve, if you can, because it's, you are in very good position. This is the one. I'm at the knee joint and then it's going to be up over the bone. See? Over the bone over there. That one coming up now, that one. Right here? Yep. Okay. And then it's going to go to under the fibular neck. to the dead uh, between the, the two bones mm -hmm. and the one goes to the deep peroneer. Yeah, before the, yeah. the origin. See, see, there's a nerve already now here, above the bone. Down here. The dark, oh, that's right Yeah, here. because you can see artery dark one. Yeah. Next to it is the nerve, right? Okay. So it's coming here. So now, the coming here and it's here. So Deep peroneal, swoop shed peroneal already split it. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah. we're below the level of the sort of mm -hmm. process membrane, yeah. which you can see. So that see? Sense. Yeah. Just above the now interosseous membrane coming now. Yeah. So it's already split it. You can see the white one mm -hmm. over there in the artery. Because that part we always missing. So now you can scan down your peroneal. Mm -hmm. Oh, my son, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So, a little more. Thanks. Okay, so you can see the fibular head. We're in the area of about one third now. One quarter. So, this would be another point for your hernias um, long. When we do the EMG, we call the fibular head about three finger breaths down from there for the adults. So yeah, so here's um, the fibular head. 
and then about three finger bones down would be like right here. You can see the nerve over there. Look at this. This yeah. is the nerve. M move, it's can up and down fast. It's moving, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, see here now. Yep. Here. So look at her. If we can find out, it's very close to one city single breath here. Mm -hmm. Very easy. See? You, if you put it in the middle, you are close to the nerve. Water nerve. So that's our superficial. See? See, you, you see the nerve is moving very well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's amazingly. So actually, I don't know, you guys, uh, I think you are confused. This time, right side is the anterior part. Look, see? So that's the EDL. In between EDL, do you remember I say EDL? Mm -hmm. Until one third between EDL and uh, parent's muscles, the uh, superficial perineal nerve passes between two muscles mm -hmm. and then it comes to the subcutaneously. So if you go forward, see? It's yeah. moving now. Good, see? So right side is the anterior part, okay? With the, when we, initially when we started, the left side was, but now right side. So depends on where we are, how we put the, uh, left side usually go to the proximal part when you do that. So I flipped over again. So look at this. There's a nerve just above here. So this is the peroneal, this is the anterior part, right? Mm -hmm. So if I move peroneal, so it's now it starts to move up. Yeah. Okay. Going up subcutaneously. Pew! Become two position nerve. <laughs> very yeah, interesting, it's right? Really good. Yeah. And I'm coming up here, again here. Just above the bone. It's coming here. No, we just oh, show sure. the going up, 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 up. Look at this, look at this. Here. On the bone. Mixed nerve. So here, once we pass, it's splitting in superficial and deep uh, perineal nerve or fibular nerve here. So here, That's if great. you look at it, that one, yeah, that one. That's so it goes off from there, but already deep perineal nerve, fibular nerve came to through that interosseous, that hole in between yeah. the hole. So must be here, right there, Steve. Mm -hmm. And that's superficial. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then uh, next week we're gonna go over more in depth with the nerve. Okay. Like Sura nerve. Yeah, part three. Part <laughs> three. <laughs> Which we like and dislike. <laughs> but the one thing we have to before we finish, um, uh, peroneal muscles. Yeah. The longus is uh, getting taper into what the tendon right after right. it passed about half mm -hmm. but parents brave is still muscular so by the time you go to the ankle only you see the peroneus brevis muscles when you look for the sura nerve yeah. so here just the two review next week so here uh, she's going down now so you can see stay there Look at her probe. Her probe is in just above, about two finger breaths up from the lateral malleolus line. So this one is the tendon of the peroneus longus. This is the peroneus brevis. This is the part of the Achilles tendon. This is the fibula. Okay. So let's go down continuously here. So you remember? Oh, I was wrong. I'm sorry, this is not fibula, this is just a uh, in between tertian. Uh, no, no, parents not, no. This is just uh, between the uh, parents longus and Achilles tendon is this one, in between, just like uh, tissues. And then this one is the sura nerve in between. So okay. there's the artery next to the artery. The artery is what? Greater saphenous. Okay. Pain. I need to review that again. Yeah. Cool. Yay! So I think we kind of learned the new things. So this is the end of today's uh, scanning. And uh, I, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.